So, I haven't done a plating video, uh, video in a long time, but this one is more for a lot of questions I get uh, from my other two videos. Uh, so I'll try to talk relatively fast and get through them so I can show you another plating. Number one question everybody asks me is the voltage that I use. So, this is a, uh, and like, I, like I've mentioned before, I'm not an expert. This is just what works for me and seems to work well. So this is an old uh, Motorola phone charger. It is, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but it's, uh, it's five volts. And, you know, if you have an older one, even with less volts than that, probably would be good. The slower the plating, the better. Some people use batteries. I don't like to use batteries. I think it's too slow. So you got to find that happy medium. So anyway, this thing works great. You just put a couple of alligator clips on there. And other question, people want to know, well, how do you know which one's the positive lead and the negative lead when you cut the old connector off? Well, one way you can find out is put your leads on here, hook it up to your, uh, your rod and another part. And then when you start seeing the bubbles on inside the uh, solution, the bubbles are going to come from the negative lead and that's because that's where the attraction's going to and the bubbles go up. So if you have them flip-flopped, you know that the fizzing bubbles mean black lead and that's always going to be the part that you're plating. So uh, third question, um, how hot do I heat my water or my solution? Uh, it all depends. I found that this one right here, I just heated up. I have an old pan. I don't heat it up in the sink so I don't want to break my glass, but you can use a Tupperware. But this is, you know, 100, 100 to 120 degrees is good because the, the warmer, the better the plating seems to go. Uh, another question, big popular question, what am I using? Nickel plating is one plating, there's copper plating, there's even silver and other types of plating. I, I've done copper and I've done nickel. This is the two I've done the most. Nickel welding rods. This is a 99% welding rod. I took all the flux off of it. Other people think, well, the welding rod that I use for cast iron, you know, should that be the same? Well, if it doesn't say your nickel content, don't use it because you're going to have a bunch of metals in there that are going to screw your solution up. So I know this is 99%. If you have an old or a piece of nickel plated, you know, thick piece, you can use that and just watch the part as it the nickel disperses off it over, you know, a matter of minutes or hours. Pull the part out and then throw another plated one in there. You can get whatever nickel you can get. You can use guitar strings too, but this is just what I use and it works like a champ. So anyway, throw that in there. Um, so take some steel wool and uh, take the piece and do long, long strokes, you know, so you're not making some weird scratch pattern in there, but preparing the metal surface, whether it's brass, copper, regular steel, uh, is so important because that's how you get good plating. If you get the oil's off of it, I'm just do doing the steel wool for right now, but I will get the oils off before I plate as well. So. Let's see how nice and shiny it is. The plating, people have made fun of me for doing it in the kitchen. You know what? I don't give a crap. Uh, I do what I do. I keep clean. That's the way it goes. So after I've prepared these, um, they're nice and shiny. The less blemishes, the better because your plating is going to show up. So prepare your metals really, really well. I'm just happen happening to do copper today because, or brass, excuse me. I just don't want this plate logo plate to be brass. I decided I want to nickel it and, you know, polish it all up. Degreaser. After you clean it all up, soy sauce works like a champ. Soy sauce is a natural degreaser. The, the amount of salt content in there, it just degreases the part. So just use a little soy sauce. Make sure your hands are clean. Use gloves if you want to. Um, you know, keeps the, the fingerprints off there if you want, but um, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes and We'll see how this piece turns out, but you know, I try to clean the whole part because I just don't want anything in my solution if I don't have to. 
get that and rinse it off. So it's all ready to go. Positive bleed on your uh, nickel uh, uh, anode and then uh, get the part. Make sure you don't uh, thumbprint this thing up. Make sure it's nice and thoroughly cleaned. All right, so connect this thing to a spot. You can move the clip around because you're going to get a mark on the first one. And here you go. I'm going to show you how fast this plates. I mean, you don't want to do it fast, but I'm just saying that it's crazy how amazing this thing works. So here's a piece of brass. And here we go. I'm just, I'm just going to do a, a test case for the half part for a minute. And we're just going to put it in here for about... I don't know, 20, 30 seconds here. And like I said, I don't like to play too fast, but I don't like to sit around for hours and hours either. I, just, I, th I think there's a happy medium. Okay, so here we've been in here for like 30 seconds. Let's see what we got. Just in 30 seconds. I don't know if you guys can see that halfway mark there, but look at that. There, that's a good spot you can see. Just in that amount of time, and it just plates so nicely. So anyway, I put it in there, you know, move it around a little bit, keep the water stirred up if you if you want to, agitation helps. I just usually kind of clip it on there. And you can just let it sit for a little bit and then uh, take it out and flip it around and flip the, the alligator clip over and so you don't have a mark at the top and then... Uh, you know, on this type of part here, this is going to be an emblem that's not probably going to have much activity on it. So I'll probably plate it for, I don't know, I'll see how it goes, but maybe like three to five minutes uh, moving it around and that should do it. And then it should be enough to polish it all up. So, yeah. Okay, so let's pull this thing out. It's been, you know, a couple minutes, maybe not even that, but. So look at that. So here's a comparison of the previous part. You can see, you know, the difference in the nickel versus the copper. Maybe the lighting's not the best. There you go. So it just, it's just amazing. It's really a fun process, and you can see the little mark on there. So I'll flip it around, put it in here. I think the back even plated a little bit, but... And uh, just kind of move it around, like I said, do a few minutes or so each direction that you put it in there and then uh, get it to your liking. And like I said, the, the amount of cleanup time, prep time, is really going to make your part uh, turn out the best. Over my you know, trials and errors, every part that didn't turn out was because I had some type of oil or rust or didn't clean it up properly so all right I moved it around it's been in there for like another three or four minutes I'll pause the camera for a minute so I'm gonna pop this thing out and one other thing too this solution has been sitting in my garage for gosh I would say three four months sealed up and I just heated it back up and it worked just as good as the last time. So once you make the solution, you'll see my other video has the, how to make it. Uh, it works and it lasts as long as you keep it clean. So there you have it. There's one that I plated and the other one that I haven't plated yet. And you can see, you know, how beautiful it turns out. And I haven't even polished this thing. So the better you prep your metal, the less polishing and, you know, end, you know, kind of preparation to make it shine up you will have to do uh, because it just basically plates exactly how you see the piece of metal that you put in there so anyway uh, and, and when you clean it up you know don't don't go gangbusters on it if you have a, a little small dremel tool with a pad and you want to use a little small uh, buffing wax or something like that great if you put the longer you plate it the more durable it'll probably be but you don't really have to do a lot so anyway hit, hit subscribe on my channel and thanks for watching